The overall goal of this procedure is to investigate how transcellular interactions involving the extracellular domains of specific transmembrane proteins affect beta cell function, and more specifically, insulin secretion. This is accomplished by first transfecting a mammalian cell line with a plasmid containing the protein of interest. In the second step, a beta cell line is co-cultured with the mammalian cells. In the final step, the co-culture is incubated in media with different glucose concentrations in order to enable the assessment of glucose-stimulated insulin secretion. Ultimately, insulin radioimmunoassays or ELISAs are used to assess the levels of insulin secreted into the media by the cultured beta cells. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods such as gene overexpression and knockdown is that it avoids perturbation of the mRNA and protein expression, potentially affecting beta cell health and or function in ways that can confound analyses of the specific interaction of the protein. Begin by transferring the HEC293 cells to a 24-well plate in 0.5 milliliters of HEC293 media per well. To ensure that the cells are spread evenly across the bottom of the plate, shake the plate along one axis at a time with speed synchronous to the wave formed in the well. When the HEC293 cells reach 100% confluency, transfect the cultures with 0.8 micrograms of the plasmid coding for the protein of interest in 2 microliters of lipofectamine 2000 according to the lipofectamine protocol. The overall scheme of the co-culture about to be demonstrated is depicted here. Using a non-enzymatic